Today I'm going to show you how to make a cute dinosaur plushie. This one was just a practice one. It wasn't like a finished one. But this is what it's going to look like. For this you're going to need fabric. I'm using two different fabrics. This zigzag one, which is inside out and then a white one. So one of them is going to be for the body and the other one is going to be for the stomach. This is the body and the stomach. Okay, so you're also going to need an unpicker because you might make mistakes. A pencil to trace things with some scissors, um, eyes for your stuffed animal, um, pins, and I have little stencils. <laughs> And I'm going to sew it by hand, so I'm going to use thread and needle. But this one was sewn by a, like, on a sewing machine. It was hard for my mom. <laughs> so, so now you're going to get a piece of fabric and fold it in half so that the wood sides are facing each other and then you're gonna get a body pattern my mom just made this up by using a little pot that I have and the bottom she used for the feet and then she just kind of drew it though so you can make it look how, like however you want but you can pause the video to make it look like this I'm just gonna put it right here and then you're gonna trace it Once you cut it all out, um, I mean trace it, then it'll look like this. And make sure that you have two pieces of fabric on top of each other. So when you cut it out, it makes two of these. Now, you can either cut this out right now or trace um, another stencil. So, I'm going to do another one. My mom made this one by getting this pot again and putting this part down and tracing part of it, then just making it longer. You're going to have it folded for this one too, so you got to cut two out of this. So once you trace that, you can take it off. This was the side of the head, right here. This was the body, and we're going to trace this part. Make this this size, so like the same size as the neck because when you do that then it will fit perfectly on the neck so once you trace this out it should look like this you're also supposed to cut two out of this one so you can sew them together now you're gonna cut 
all of these out. Remember, make sure that there's two pieces of fabric that are good sides to each other. Line them up. You forgot to say this, but you need to pin it so it doesn't move. It moved when I was cutting it out. <laughs> so, put pin right there and on the tail. Put a pin. Right there. And right there. And then right there so then when you cut it it won't move once you're done cutting them out they should look something like this now you can take out the pins so now there's two of each of these you can pick them all up and put them aside get that same fabric you were just using for these a piece of paper that is like if you do this it's the same size but make it a little bit longer than this so it fits all the way around here put it on here and then just trace it and then cut it out Put pins on it too. Now you can put pins on it. And it will go like this. Now you can cut it out. I accidentally cut two, so you can take these out and take one of them and just throw it away, I guess. So you only need one of these ones. Then you have all of these. And put all of these things just in a pile. Now we can get this white 
are the one you're using for the belly. This one is the belly. It's just, oh, the head fell off. <laughs> um, it's just gonna be like the feet, but you have to cut it on the fold. So get your fabric, fold it in half. I've got two pieces of this fabric. Put this on the fold. And then trace it. Once you trace it, you can cut it out or pin it first. Goodness. I need to remember to pin it. Pin it kind of close to the edge so it doesn't unfold. Then you can cut it. Once you cut it out, it should look like this. Then you can take the pins out and unfold it. That's what it should look like. Then you get this fabric. It's folded in half. And get like a little triangle piece. Um, and put it right here. This one is, this way it's going to have, you could trace it this way, it's going to have like, there's going to be two pieces. And then we need six. So either you can just do that two more times or you can get another piece of fabric fold it in half and fold it in half again it's like that then you can get this again and trace it now You can pin it. Pin this one too. Cut both of these out. Once you cut both of these out, you can take out the pins and then you'll have this is one. Take two, that's two, this is three. So you're gonna have three pieces. It's gonna be the horns for the triceratops. So this is the triceratops. Take these away. Okay. Okay, so my mom is making dinner, if you can hear lots of noises. <laughs> So we're going to start with the head, get the head, the triceratops, so you're going to take one of these and this strip, see, and 
you're going to turn the strip upside down so the so this side is facing down. And you're going to line these up. So it's good side and bad side. And there's a bug. You're gonna line these up. Also my cat is in here. So if you can hear anything else besides silverware, then it's my cat sleeping. He makes weird noises when he sleeps. Okay, then go pin this. But when you sew it. You're going to kind of just like go around and pin it as you go. And it is going to look creased when you're sewing it, but it won't be creased when you are done. So you're just going to keep doing this. Lining it up. There's going to be extra, but that's okay. So you're just going to sew it, and then when you need to turn, just line it up and pin it at the same time, okay? When you're done, and when I'm done, I'll come back and show you the rest. Also, you're going to need thread, <laughs> so just get like a decent piece, I guess, and cut it. Put it through. Two ends. Ooh. <laughs> Line the two ends up so that it's a big string. And then wrap it around your finger and twist it. And then just make a little knot. Then you can sew it. If you run out of thread, then you just need to make a little knot. So loop your thread over. <laughs> Go in the last stitch you did. And then pull this and do it again. My cat is a noisy sleep. He's snoring. Did not know animals could snore. Then you cut it. And you get a new piece of thread. Then you just do what you did before.
then line the bottoms up <laughs> and then oops twist it and make it up then keep sewing okay so once you're done sewing that it should look like this so then when you do this it'd be like that it's not the best that's okay mine's not that good so yeah but then you can tie it off and cut it it's okay if there's extra now you get that was too now you get your other piece and this part's kind of hard you line these up so the good side of this piece and the good side of the piece you just sewed are facing each other And then pin them and just sew it the same way. Just keep sewing it around. Until it's like that. Once you finish sewing it, it'll look like this, and it might not look that good, but it's, it, well, it might, depending on the stitch you do. I don't know what the stitch I did was called, but I can show you. Um, one second. Okay, so the stitch I did was, I just, it's just a scrap piece of fabric. And went in. And then, so it's like a stitch, but then when I went up, I went back in the middle of that one and then just do another stitch it doesn't have to be in the middle it can be like on the side but it has to be close to it can you see it better like this no <laughs> okay Well, anyway, when you're done, it should look like this. I forgot to say that you will need stuffing. So, once you're done sewing it, you can stuff the head, and this you can just cut off. stuff it. I like to take a chunk of stuffing and then rip it into little pieces because then it makes it softer. Once you put it in, like you put it in in little, in little pieces. Try to make it look the best you can, like as a circle. Like this. Okay, so 
that was just the first part of the video, I think. I might have already said this, I don't know, but I'm going to do two to three parts. So I just did the head, that's one part. Um, the next part's going to be the body. And probably this. So then, when you put it together, it'll be the head. So the, like, the last part, the third part is going to be putting it together. So, also the body's going to look different than this. It's going to be this fabric. Because we already cut it out, so. Yeah. I might do four parts. I don't know. But, I'll try to do that. Um, quickly, but I don't know. The only reason I am doing that is because it takes forever to upload and I don't want it to take like 10 hours just to upload one video. So, I hope you have fun and making this cute little Tyrannosaurus. Is that what it's called? No. Yes? I don't know, I totally forgot my brain, my brain blinked. I can't talk. Bye.